In this section, we're going to talk about how to restation your tool to keep performing layout on a project that you might have stopped or stopped midway through. On the screen, it's going to show you a few icons here on the left. Gray means not your current active project. Green means your active project. So in this instance, I was working on layout two just a second ago. And now let's say I want to switch to do my test project down here. When I click on test, it's going to ask me and prompt me to reset up the tool. And basically you're taught, brought right back to the stationing screen. And so on this screen, you want to make sure that your starting point and your direction point are the same as when you first started this project. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I'll speed the video up. Now that I've verified my starting point and my direction point, I'm basically good to go. But what I really like about the PMT200 is that before you continue, it invites you to check your accuracy, which I think is critical to any sort of layout whatsoever. So what it asks you is to verify your setup, select one of the layout points, and remeasure it. So in my, in my plan, I only have a very simple plan here. I'm going to go back to P1, and the tool is automatically going to start spinning to P1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the field and I'm going to relay out that point and measure it and to see what deviations the tool might give me. And based on those deviations, I'll determine whether or not I want to continue with this setup. I'm going to press measure and the tool will tell me how far out my current deviation is. In the case that it's inaccurate, even by a quarter of an inch, it's simply going to ask you to try again. If you think you made a measurement by mistake, you can go over here and just simply remeasure until it is accurate. Once I redid, redid everything and made sure that everything was accurate, you could see that on my restationing, I was able to get it to within 1 16th of an inch, and now I can go ahead and confirm. Please remember that if for whatever reason you think your stationing is fine, despite whatever slight deviations you might have, you can always skip that step. However, I always like it because it allows you to rest assured, stay accurate on your jobs. And now I can continue as I was before. Now let me give you another scenario. Let's say you finish for the first part of the day and you go to lunch and you reset up the tool after you come back from lunch. So for instance, I'm gonna press this home button. I'm gonna leave this layout and save the project. What you can see here is that test is my green and most recently used project. If I click on test, it's going to invite me to check my position of the tool or it's going to ask me to completely reset up the tool as you saw in the previous example. So in this case, I will go ahead and check my position and the tool will automatically spin to where it believes the starting point is. I'm gonna measure it and then it's gonna to spin to the direction point and I'm gonna measure it. And the tool will tell me whether or not it thinks it might have moved or something might be wrong. I just measured my starting point and I'm very accurate to where the starting point is. So I'll go ahead and confirm that. And now the tool is turning to the direction point, and we're going to do the same thing and confirm that location. I will press measure. And the tool tells me that I'm still in the right spot. If I wasn't, it would have come up with the error and warned me so that I know that I'm not going to continue with an incorrect stationing and lay out anything inaccurately. So I'll confirm, and now I'm back into layout. So I hope this video helps you understand that the tool wants to make sure that you stay accurate no matter what you're doing. If you leave a project and need to come back to it later, you certainly can, and you can reset the tool and keep on going. But the tool wants to make sure that when you are doing that, there's not any mistakes that you're not catching between the transition from turning the tool off, turning the tool on again, moving it, and setting it up again. Please leave any questions you have in the comments, and of course, feel free to share your experiences in the comments as well.